Hey Collective, welcome back guys. So let's go ahead and see what is coming towards you next 24 to 48 hours. What's coming towards my collective universe? There's a message that is on, there, on its way, Collective. In this message, you have some truth, confessions. It may have to do with a romantic opportunity, new love, romance, courtship. But I feel like someone's getting ready to reach out to you, Collective. This may very well be somebody from your past who wants to have a new beginning with you. And it will lead into marriage. You, you, someone is coming. Wow, someone's getting ready to reach out, collective. There's definitely some communication, and this person is coming to this situation with an open heart, and they want to tell you something. There's something that this person has a need to communicate here. They want to move forward. They want to end some some negative cycles that have occurred between you and them, and they want a new beginning here. Someone from your past is coming back because they want a new beginning, collective. Let's see here. Universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. What is going on with my collective here, please? What is this overall energy here with the collective? What's the overall energy? Universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. Overall energy with the collective, please. Wow. This is the return of someone from your past. I, I can't even lie. The reading started clearly letting you know. It's like... I feel like your spirit is telling me to tell you, you're being warned. You're being warned that someone from your past is coming back. You did not expect this person to come back in. There's something about this individual. Who is this person from their past universe? Ten of Swords Energy. You had a very painful ending with this person, collective. But they're coming back. And I feel like this individual, in this time of separation, a lot of things has changed for them. And they see life very different now. In the process of that change, this person has reevaluated all their past relationships. But for whatever parent reason collective, your relationship with this person stood out. They've been through their fair share of bull. They dealt with the worst of the worst and the best of the best. But at the end of the day, this person could not eliminate what had happened with your relationship. And I feel like this person is in a place where they they have a necessity to reach out. You might be dealing with a fire sign energy here. But this person is so heavy in their thought. I feel like they, they're so heavy in their thought that they're missing you to the point that it hurts. It hurts this person to think about you. And I feel like when the timing is right, because universe is telling me when the timing is right, this person's going to come in with this five of wands energy. They left in a very fiery energy at the beginning. You guys could have had a very nasty argument that ultimately ended this relationship and you chose not to communicate with this person or vice versa. They chose not to communicate with you. But I feel whatever the argument that happened the last time between you and this person, they're coming back to ask for forgiveness. The five of wands in the reverse is someone coming back and mending what they broke. Making amends with you and trying to bring some type of resolution here. Universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel Guides, and Guardians. What is this overall energy here for the collective? So, you got the Ace of Wands energy. This individual wants to have a conversation with you. But this conversation is going to entail a little bit of a heated argument. And the reason why I'm going to say that is because <clears throat> whether it was you collective or it was this person, there were some things that were said at the end. Okay, and I feel like those things are going to be brought back up, such as if you told this person, oh, I hate you. I never want They want to ask you, do you really hate me? Do you never want to see me again? Okay, or if you told, you, you know, sometimes we've gotten, I, and I'm going to say this, we, because I've done, I, mean, I sometimes, and I hate it, God forgive me, but like, I wish you die and you never come back. You know, they're going to ask you, do you really wish that upon me? So this, this conversation, apart from it, potentially rebirthing something, because remember the butterfly is a new energy here. With this conversation, rebirthing something and potentially bringing a new beginning, it is also going to stir up some negative stuff from that last argument. So universe is letting you know, be prepared because you collective or your person may have to answer some questions and they might be a little bit uncomfortable. Universe, archangels, spirit, angel guides and guardians. 
What is this overall energy here for the collective and the person that is on their mind? What is their current energy? So you got the two of swords energy. I feel like you both, the last time you spoke, you decided to walk away from the situation. It was a mutual breakup. And you might have both ended up blocking each other at some point. Somewhere along the line, you could have very well unblocked this person or they could have very well unblocked you. It does not matter. But I feel like you both ended up blocking each other from everything. Not only text messaging, but social media. Um, you blocked yourself from friends and family members. I feel like you guys didn't allow allow yourselves to know, or allow yourself or they didn't allow themselves to know anything about you or you know about them, okay? You guys completely removed, erased this person from your energy, but here they come, okay? Here they come. In this chariot, this person's coming in, I'm not gonna lie, a little bit, um, how can I put it? A little bit too confident because he or she knows that, oh, if I come in and I explain myself and I let them know, you know, what I'm thinking or how I'm feeling, they're going to be open and receptive to receiving me. They've done it before, but it might not be as easy as they think it's going to be. <clears throat> Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. What is this person's intentions by coming back towards my collective? Page of Cups in the reverse and the hangman. So they're going to ask you the stupidest question on the planet. I've gotten this question before. So why haven't you reached out? Why haven't you texted me? You're going to be like, well, why haven't you texted me? Why haven't you called me? So I feel like it's going to be one of those where they're going to open up with a very stupid, childish question that is going to make you think like, okay, this is what you looked for me for to ask me why I haven't texted you? Well, shit, I'm not going to text you because of all the things you told me the last time we spoke. So they're going to try to open up the conversation like that. What is their overall intentions here, universe, by coming back? towards my collective knight of pentacles energy in the reverse i feel like this person is ready now to make a stable offer in this situation i feel like they're ready now because the knight of pentacles in the upright is one of the most stable knights out there but he takes a very long time but in the reverse he's not taking a long time and he's still bringing instability so i feel like this person is in a place in his or her life where they're ready to settle down universe archangel spirit angel guides and guardians yeah five of swords energy what is this Five of Swords energy for the collective? The Hierophant in the reverse. So for some of you guys, not all of you guys, somebody here was married in the past, okay? And maybe they hid it from the other person. I feel like this person's coming towards you to reveal that that marriage is no longer existing, that they went through the battle, but it finally came to an end. So if someone was married here in the past, they're explaining that they're no longer married to that person, that they are free, ready, and willing to be able to pursue you. Now they want you to be their empress. Now they're ready to settle down with you. What is the potential outcome in this situation for the collective universe? You got the five of pentacles with the three of wands energy. For majority of you guys, I'm not saying all of you guys, but for majority of you guys, you will allow this connection to come back in from out of the cold. And you will start moving forward with this person. Will it happen overnight? I highly doubt it. But it will happen. It's going to happen. It's just going to be a matter of time. There is a lot of wish fulfillment behind this reconciliation. Even though you and this person broke up in a very harsh way, there is a lot of, re there is a lot of wish fulfillment here in this reconciliation. And I do feel like you and this person are going to be able to get back into this Nine of Cups energy. It is going to say, take some time. You're not. This is not going to happen overnight. You just can't trust this person in a blink of an eye. But eventually, you will end up getting there. What is the advice here for the collective regarding the return of this X universe? What is the advice? Codependency. I feel like for some of you guys, you are afraid. You don't want to be codependent to this love like you were in the past. I feel like when this person walked away, it hurt. And it hurt bad. Okay? But I feel like they are coming back and they want to heal these family issues very soon within these next 24 to 48 hours. Didn't I tell you they were going to come in with a real stupid question, playfulness, asking you, oh, so why haven't you texted me in the last one year or two years? Oh, uh, well, because you didn't text me. Okay? So I feel like at the end of the day, this person is coming back, but you are a little bit nervous, collective, that you are you don't want to become codependent to this relationship again. Because I feel like to a certain extent you became codependent, but 
There is a heart-to-heart -heart conversation that's going to happen between you and this person. This heart-to-heart -heart conversation will ultimately depend on whether or not you choose to attempt to fix on this, fix this relationship, potentially even starting off as friends first. But there is an opportunity here for you and this individual to bring this connection back in and rekindle the relationship. See, this individual has gone on with their life these past couple of years thinking that they were over you and they were done with this and they would never ever want to see you again or vice versa. But little do you know, this person still hurts the, every time they think of you and they have this necessity to want to come towards you and clear things up with you and potentially restart this relationship all over again. So guys, I hope and pray that this gave you the clarity that you needed. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click that notification bell. And if anyone is interested in a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. Do not forget to go check out my new channel where I do all Pisces reading. Truth Be Told Tarot 1111. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye.